funny that they should call this the SAFE Act, isn't it? It's the SAFE Act for criminals, for gangbangers. That's who the SAFE Act is for. What this legislation did was make it the unsafe act for law-abiding citizens when they trampled on our Second Amendment rights. That was Senator John Bonasek speaking to thousands of people who converged outside the Capitol. I'm Julia Lokendi. This is your voice. Today I'm with Senator Bonasek. How are you, Senator? Good morning, Julia. Nice to be with you. Uh, you know, Talk about that rally, the energy at that rally, what people were doing, what people were saying. Well, uh, they were fired up. They were fired up because uh, they felt uh, that the governor overstepped his bounds and uh, trampled on the Second Amendment rights. Uh, one of the points that I made to the crowd uh, was, first of all, I had never seen a crowd that large. Um, they estimate it was over 7,000 people. And these are people that took off from work. Uh, these were people that had no political agenda. Uh, they didn't want anything from government generally, you know, looking for money or special interest groups. Uh, they, I saw uh, teenagers, they took their kids out of school to come to this. I saw young men and women, uh, and I saw men and women of all ages and of all color. Uh, coming uh, to protest uh, the SAFE Act. You know, uh, part of the problem uh, with how the governor handled this is that he rushed it. Message of necessity, middle of the night, uh, only a, we only saw the bill an hour before we actually voted on it. And there were glaring errors made by the governor's people that if they had gone through the normal process, work with law enforcement as to who had a sophisticated knowledge of guns, who worked with sportsmen. Uh, we all wanted the same thing, to ban uh, assault weapons. We think that's a good idea. But this legislation banned rifles, banned shotguns, banned handguns if they were equipped with a certain handle. It went way beyond what an assault weapon is. And, I mean, to tell the police that they couldn't use more than seven bullets in fighting crime, I mean, that was the most glaring error. And there were four instances where law-abiding citizens could be convicted of a misdemeanor or a felony. These are people who've never had a problem with the law in their life. So we're working on amendments. And uh, we've started petitions to repeal certain aspects of this, me and some of my colleagues. I bet you we got close to 200,000 signatures, which will be presented to the governor shortly. But uh, uh, the biggest thing is that I'm asking to the governor to do is naturally give the police the, the firepower they need to fight criminals. We should have uh, been more stringent on illegal guns for the criminals, because they're going to laugh at the SAFE Act and uh, to try to decriminalize certain aspects of it. Uh, because uh, people of good intention may fail to register or may forget a date to turn something in. Uh, and just another point, um, you know, I, I, have, I happen to have guns at home. And um, now if I, I don't want that to be made public with the newspapers, I have to sign a form. So I get this form online and I encourage everyone who has guns to do that, to sign this. But on the bottom it says, now there are four boxes. You have to check why you want it private. If you check the wrong box, you could be guilty of a misdemeanor. It says right in the form. I was shocked when I read that. What's the wrong box? Well, one was uh, you were harassed. Another one uh, is that you need it for your job. Another one was uh, you had previously served on a jury or a grand jury. And the fourth one was in another innocuous category. And you have to check a box. And I'm just saying, if you didn't check a box, you checked the wrong box. This says if you misrepresent anything on here, that in itself is a misdemeanor. So why, if you want to make your, you don't want the paper, uh, or uh, any, any uh, media group to know that you have a gun at home, why must you sign something and have a penalty of perjury attached to it? 
You know, that's just another thing we're trying to reform. So my only point was uh, the whole approach to the SAFE Act was that of a, a mind of a prosecutor and, and criminalization. Mm -hmm. And it was the wrong target of people to come after, the law-abiding citizens who don't commit crimes that use this for recreation, for sport, and for safety. What was interesting, we had many women come to our office that day and say, we live in the country. We want to have a gun for self-protection, uh, especially women that are single moms. And this is a real concern out in the country. So um, there were many things, as I said, not handled right, and uh, it created such a, uh, a fire yeah. uh, in so many people throughout the state. There are now 26 counties that have signed, uh, uh, that have uh, gone on a resolution saying they want the SAFE Act repealed. I don't think the governor expected this kind of pushback. Uh, so I hope on the amendments we can satisfy some of the anger and make it uh, more agreeable because everyone out there that attended that rally, they're very reasonable, sane people. Um, they just don't want their guns taken away, which is a culture, a way of life that's been passed on for generations to generations to their kids. So I think the governor went too far with this, and he's got to come back and, and fix it, if he would. Because when he initially started, it was confiscation of guns. That was the mentality. And, um, and quite frankly, I believe, uh, I don't expect it to be passed nationally or in any other state in the country. So... I personally think this hurt the governor more than it helped him nationally if, he's, if he has higher aspirations. But, you know, he has people advising him he's going to do what he thinks best. But there were 18 of us in the Senate that said no. Right. And if there was a public process, a lot of that stuff probably wouldn't have been in the bill. Right. It would have been done more intelligently. These glaring errors could have been eliminated. I think more people could have embraced it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you wouldn't have had uh, this uproar that's continuing. It's not getting less, it's getting louder.